Hello, everybody, and welcome to something new. Um, I'm Dave Lucia, and I get knocked down, but I get up again. And I'm here to present to you today uh, Mickey Mouse's Castle of Illusion. Um, oh, how stylish. I love it. Um, so I'm actually just gonna. Yeah, we're. Oh. Ominous and terrifying. Mm. The castle oh. stood out against the skyline like a shadow well, let's, let's let from this a play. horrible nightmare. Lost and alone, what was Mickey to do? Luckily, fate intervened in the guise of a mysterious old mouse. How convenient. Caution, lad, for Miserable's plans are truly I, I, wicked. I know this voice actor. Using like... a magic spell, she mm. intends to steal Minnie's youth and beauty. Your sweetheart will be left as hideous as the witch is now. Aww. And her heart will contain only hatred and anger. Oh no! Uh, how can I save her? <laughs> what do I do? You must find the seven rainbow gems that will create the fabled Rainbow Bridge. It will take you to where Minnie is being held. But beware Fantastic. the gem keepers. They are Miserable's prime ministers of misery and won't give up their treasures easily. Bad naming, though. Gems? Oh, Gem boy. keepers. Got it. Wait, Pretty easy. Uh, where do I find them? Within oh, well. Miserable's castle of illusion. Of course. But beware, young mouse. The witch has created strange worlds and bizarre. Oh, this guy's Sully. You from reaching her. Oh, uh, from uh, from Uncharted. He's he's Sully. Wow, that's that's weird. Okay. Defeat them to Yeah, that's why he sounds so familiar. And remember, <laughs> use great caution. Mickey did not take the old mouse's words lightly. Uh, of course he thanked not. him and rushed to the castle gates. Beautiful. Okay. So, the here we go. Of illusion oh. was Miserable's twisted playground of trickery and peril. Nothing there was as it seemed. Of course not. Um, so... Hi there. Boing. You can actually just hold A, I think. Um, I, or did it say hold A? I don't... Yeah, hold A. Okay. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so you... So this is actually a remake of a, um game from the Sega Genesis, which uh, I had when I was growing up. And uh, this is a full, Into the well, castle not full 3D, but... strode the mouse with the heart of a great lion, though his knees felt more like those of a frightened kitten. Aw. How adorable. We're not predators. We are Mickey Mouse. Um... Yeah, I grew up with this game uh, back on the Sega Genesis, and this is a very different. Like it's, it's very similar, but at the same time, it's incredibly different. Um, hmm. Wonder what's behind this door. Let's see. What's behind door number one? So they have separated the levels. Into, Mickey crossed like, the threshold and emerged once again into the forest. Boing. But it was changed Boing. somehow. This wasn't the pastoral wood he remembered. Boing. Haha. -ha. Oh. So yeah, um, this is, like, it's very similar, but at the same time, it is a wildly different game than, uh, the original. <laughs> They, uh, one of the cute things, I think, actually, is that, um, you can use X to throw as well, which is not something they tell you. Um, huh. but yeah, one of the cute things about this is that, uh, so for the remake here, they have Grant Kirkhope doing the music, uh, which anybody who really knows their Banjo-Kazooie uh, might be able to recognize. Um, but they also included the like original soundtrack. Oops. Welp. They, uh, you can just select 
the original soundtrack at any time through the options menu. Uh, and that's a really cute option, I think. So, this is also one of the things that is kind of new to this version of the game, is there are these sections that are actually 3D. The signpost um, was created by Miserable, so of course, it had a mischievous streak. Of course. Let's, uh, let's follow these arrows. Hmm. Sure wish that signpost would make up its mind. <laughs> Where are we going? Hey, look, it's a new, new door entirely. Let's go. Suddenly, Mickey was in another oh. part of the wood. Were these gigantic trees, or had Mickey been shrunk? Either way, it's, uh, probably not ideal for our little mousy friend. Let's see what's back here. So there are actually a lot of, um, secrets in this game as well, which is, uh, I still don't know where all of them are. I've, I have played this game, um, a couple times before. Uh, doesn't mean I'm gonna be any good at it, because as we all should know by now, um, knowing how to actually play a game doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually capable of playing it. Uh, <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so one of the things that you kind of have to... There's there's a little aspect of collection in the game because you pick up all these gems to kind of unlock new stuff. Uh, you use the gems to unlock levels, I think. I don't remember. It's, it has been a little while. Um, but we saw that like we had to... Oops. We had to collect a certain number of gems to open the first door to get into this level in the first place, and, uh, I think that remains true for, uh, all the other levels. So, there's a little bit of aspect of a collectathon nature here, but, uh, it's not, like, the gems that you have to actually collect for the purpose of progressing through the game tend to be not very difficult. Uh, there are hidden collectibles, however, in most of the levels that are significantly more challenging to find. There are, I think, statues and cards. Yeah, there we go. We just got a magic playing card. Mickey reappeared in the clearing with the playing card. So we don't want to go back through here, because... He was back to his own size, too. Yeah, there's nothing back there for us. But, uh... We... Oh! I might have wanted... Yeah. Okay, I can get up there. Um... Oh! So jamming. This is just... It's a fun... Fun, cute little... Cutesy little platformer. So... When it was originally released, though, um, it did get a little bit of bad press from people because Sega released it, uh, naturally, being a Sega Genesis game originally and kind of a, a, a remake of a... Oop! This is a new change as well. In the original... Uh, oops, well... So in the original, uh, you just kind of ran down the uh, ramp as this giant... Oh god, I'm just missing all of them. As the giant apple kind of chased after you, and you had to... Whoop. Oop, well, whatever. I'm not I'm not going to worry about the gems too much. Uh, and then at the bottom of the ramp, you kind of had to do this. To, because getting hit by the apple was a one-hit kill. Uh... And we don't want to see Mickey Mouse get all crushed and everything. That would be horrifying. Mm. Thank you, Grant Kirkhope. See, I was go I was originally planning on just going through right into Shadowrun Hong Kong. Was closer to Miserable now. The very air around him tingled with mischief and danger. Ah. This is this is a new new element as well. Uh, got the little bramble that kind of prevents us from going a certain way. Oh wait, I wanted to leave off of one. Okay. Um. What was I saying? Uh. 
I can't can't remember anymore. Um, is there anything down? Ah, that's so that's the other collectible, that little statue over there. Um, oh right, so yeah, this game got a kind of a bad rap when it originally released because uh, when Sega first released it, they did so without a proper um oh. hey secrets without proper frame rate support I guess I would say you know what by which I mean that the the game when it originally released had a frame rate lock um and it was it was locked to 30 FPS, which was well, kind of a shame. Um, I still think it's perfectly playable at 30 FPS, but uh, it had an update. It had a patch, I think, sometime last year that removed the frame rate lock. Um, do I, I can't leap off of this guy. I don't think. I wonder if I can boing. Probably not far, no. Well, we can probably get over there from this way. But, um, yeah. It's... I mean, my PC is not... I still don't have my new PC, actually, which is another reason I'm just going for this at the moment. Um... Because it's just something cute and quick and easy that I can record. Uh, let's, so the red ones, don't go for. They are jerks and are going to make you fall. But the blue guys are fine, green guys are fine. I do think you take damage if you don't land on their heads. Because um, this is a classic platformer where somehow your feet are just completely indestructible. And uh, everything else, nope. So if you need to ever avoid taking damage, make sure you got your feet pointed down. Because um, if you bounce on the heads of anything, then you're guaranteed to... Uh, hi, Miserable. Miserable taunted Mickey with her cruel uh, laugh. But perhaps she was secretly worried oh, oh, about well. how close he was getting. <laughs> I did not want to take that damage, but oh well. Um, yeah, <laughs> I really like how the, ah, uh, oh no, I should have gone up, back, way back there, ah, uh, that's, that's a shame. Um, anyway, uh, what was I, yeah, I really like how Miserable's design is basically just the witch from Snow White. <laughs> like, when she's in her old hag form, she just looks like the witch who poisons Snow White. And then when she's in her, like, spoiler alert, perfect form, basically, uh, um, she looks like, well, the, the un, unhagged. I don't think that's a proper term for it, but, uh, <laughs> she looks like the, how the, the queen normally looks in Snow White, um, kind of like, you know, kind of Maleficent-esque and everything, it's, it's very silly, I missed, like, what, four? Is there any way to, I think there's a way to check it, I don't know if there's, oh, whatever, oh well. I'm not going for 100% completion, I guess. Um. Oh. It's just, it fills me with so much nostalgia. And I love it. This is, like... With the frights and sprites of the forest behind him, Mickey faced the next part of his quest... With renewed courage. Ah, the grumpy old ah, the boss fight. Like all of Miserable's illusions, he was no friend to Mickey. Oh, don't be that way, Wispy Woods. 
so the boss fights in this game have actually been heavily updated as well. And, uh, in fact, the... I would say that the last boss in this game is actually incredibly hard now. Um, <laughs> when I fought her... Ah, yep. So they, yeah, they, they've changed up and, like, updated all the kind of combat, you know, maneuvers that all bosses have in this game. Um, and in fact, in some cases, they've even changed up the arenas themselves. Um, yeah, the last boss of this game, I had to... Oh. Whoops. Had to fight, like... Probably a good 20 times or so. The yeah. The rainbow gem was finally his. Now it was time for our hero to move on. Oh, that smug face he's got. Ugh. Sickening. <laughs> Exploring the castle halls, Mickey now had one of the rainbow gems that would help him save Minnie. Beautiful. But he knew there were more to find, and the Masters of Illusion would not give them up without a fight. Yeah, so you need to get a certain amount of um, diamonds, and of course you need the or you need gems to unlock certain uh, areas as well. But um, you can just kind of explore the castle at your own leisure here. Like we can just go, just go upstairs because there are gems here. Um, this is actually not the path that leads upstairs. This is the path that leads to the Rainbow Bridge. Um, which we can't do anything with yet. The we Rainbow don't have... Bridge to Mini yeah. would only appear when all seven Rainbow Gems were collected. Yes, there thank you. There was still work to be done. Let's go. Um, so one thing about the original game, like the, the, the difficulty of the original game, uh, obviously because it was like you know, it was an old-school kind of Sega Genesis game. It had... It had difficulty selection in the options menu. Uh, and... One of the kind of strange things to me... About the original Castle of Illusion is that, like... You had a different number of levels... That you actually went through the in the game. Mickey emerged into a toy oh. box of peril, another of the witch's illusions. Fantastic. Uh, hey look, the exit's right here. was the only way to go, but the toys were eager to keep playing their games. Aw. Yeah, so, the, the original Castle of Illusion had, like, it had difficulty selection, but the only real difference in the, the difficulty options was how many levels you played. Because if you played easy, you only had, like, what, I think, like, three or four stages? Like, different full, like, stages. Like, not levels, where these are, like, kind of separated into acts. You had, you know, the forest level, then the toy box, uh, and then I think you had the dark woods, which, spoiler alert, are the is the next, like, stage. Um, and then I think after that, it just kind of was like, play the game on a higher difficulty, and see if you can, uh... Oh, God. Yeah. This happened to me a lot in the original game, actually. Uh, just falling down while trying to make jumps on this toy box level. It's... It's a, it's a real thing, and uh, they've made, of course, navigating the world a bit more complicated because there's a lot more they can actually do now. Huh. Mickey like had this. to move quickly and carefully, for the cards weren't playing fairly. <laughs> so yeah, every stage now has these kind of. Oop. Well. Well then. Mickey that, had no, so close. we're going back. He was certain he'd do better next time. Yeah, we're gonna go back and do that again. Um, so yeah, every stage has these kind of new like 3D segments where uh, you 
have to navigate in 3D space. And it's a... Uh, it's kind of a neat change. I like it. Um, Welp. Now, oh, come on. We can do that. I'm sorry to waste so much time on this, but I want to get to the end. Um, I think this is a nice change. I would have... Like, I kind of expected that the game would be full 3D, as opposed to having, like, 2.5D stuff, uh, which was interesting to me when I kind of discovered it. Uh, whoa. I don't actually remember this particular segment. It's been, like I said, it's been a little while since I played the game. But, uh, ah, here we go. Fantastic. There we go. Now, Mickey knew how it felt to be a rabbit in a magic act. Oh, making puns and everything. Jeez. You guys. Ah, no. Huh, there we go. The toy box was always a weird stage to me. It kind of, these, uh, the jack-in-the-boxes there kind of scared me when I was a kid. They, uh, looked very disturbing, especially on the, especially on the, uh, Genesis. Aw. Plenty of lives. I will say that, oh, well, this game provides plenty of lives for the player, which is why the, uh, <laughs> relative difficulty of the final boss surprised me so much. I was not expecting a very sudden, very dramatic difficulty hike. Uh, boing. Boing. Um, I don't think we missed any gems. You can't actually look like... Oh, well, there's one down here. Cool. Um, you can't actually look down. Like, it has the animation for ducking. But there's no, like... Because, you know, back in the... Back in the day on the SNES and the Sega Genesis, if you, uh, oop, well, um, if you held, you know, up or down on a, uh, uh whoops, if you held up or down on a, uh, in a platforming game, you got, you know, you changed the camera view a little bit, um, and it was of debatable usefulness. I don't think it was personally that helpful, but uh, there were times when it had its benefits. Let's see where this key leads. Aha! Now we have to get all the way back down. Oh! Well, we're being chased. Uh, maybe? No, not really. This is actually... So this was a uh, really fun segment in the original game because you... Whoops. Nah. You're just kind of basically on a railroad down again. Um, which unfortunately means that there's that one gem that I just missed, which I'm not going to get back yet. 74 out of 75. Oops. Have I ever mentioned that I'm not very good at games? I don't think I have. Uh, but yeah, I'm not very good at games. So, there's that. Moved onward into the land of toys. But these playthings were somewhat less Boink. playful. Boink. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. We can ring the bells, though. Huh. Ugh. Ugh. That guy just fell out of the uh, sky. Or, oops. I wonder if that was intentional. Uh, let's. Ow. No. Aha. Fantastic. So there's actually a. Um, there's a puzzle you have to kind of use the presence to navigate as well. Which. I'm not sure if that's an optional side spot or not. Like the, uh, like that first magic hat. Um. Because... Uh, you have to... Let's see, we have to hit that. And 
Oh. Hey, wait, no. Welp. Alright, I need to lower myself down, actually. Oh, god. Um. Can I just drop down here? Oh. Huh. <laughs> that was dangerous. Um. Do I need to. Can I just do that? There we go. I like that you don't automatically die if you fall down bottomless pits. That was a problem with older, um... Our hero wasn't sure if he was upside down, downside up, or a bit of both. Boink. This is actually... So one of the things they changed... Oh, I need to use that, actually. No, that... Well, not gonna happen now. Oh well. Can I, uh. Uh, no! We hadn't quite succeeded, but in a topsy turvy world, there was always room for one more turn. Yeah, so the thing about the, the special kind of challenge areas in this game is that you. You don't die if you fail them. Um, which. Uh, which again is kind of nice. There we go. Because, you know, in in an older game. Oops. Hmm. Uh, we need to hit this one? Nope. Yes. Okay. Yeah, in an older game, um or in in fact, in a like classic kind of platformer. Falling in one of these areas would have just meant you died. Like, no compromise there. Like, you'd just straight up be dead, and you'd have to, like, start the level over again. Um. Uh, there we go. Um, but because. Because, thankfully, they are kind of. They provide optional secondary objectives in this game. Thankfully, they are not. Oops. They're not mandatory. And so, falling just means you go right out. Um, this actually might have been the area I was thinking about. Uh, so, we need. No. God. The jumping is a little bit twitchy. Uh, do I need to, I think I need to just try to get through there from the side. Yeah, just get over there from over here. Hut, huh? hut, huh? no. Well, okay. There we go. Again, I don't know why I'm bothering trying to get, like, most of the deck. I don't like leaving gems when I know I can get them, I guess is uh, the thing about it. Oh. No. I screwed that up. Um, let's not screw this one up. Can't, yeah, I can't get that one up there now. But, I can. Eh. Uh, uh, Let's see. Do that. Uh, hey there, buddy. Right, some of these contain enemies. I gotta be a little bit careful about that. Not that the enemies in this game are particularly dangerous. No! Bah! I did it again. I did it again. I'm bad at paying attention, too. I, I don't know. I've... I've been feeling kind of off today, really. I, uh, like, that's kind of why I would, why I decided to do this instead of Shadowrun. Um, it's like, I, well, plus I kind of, I kind of want to wait until I get my new PC to actually start recording Shadowrun. Um, oh. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, so back in the day, you could jump, oh, oh. 
Uh, can I... There we go. Sweet. You can actually, yeah, so, like, back on the Genesis version, you could jump on the clown's, um, juggling balls. Let's be careful about how we say that. Uh, so here we have a Mario puzzle. Um, where you have to follow the mirror, uh, because we have an invisible path. Um, oh jeez, I'm bad at spatial awareness. Uh, huh, huh, there we go. So yeah, I would, like, I want to wait until I get my new PC to play Shadowrun Hong Kong. Um, don't know how well that's gonna actually work out. It's supposedly on the, oh no, there we go. Supposedly on the way, but who knows what that means. Hey, cool. Um, but yeah, I've just figured this would be a, a cute, like, quick thing I could do. And uh, Anyway, I think we could call it here. And uh, we'll come back to this next time. And see how much more we can get out of this game. Because I, I really like it. And I think it's kind of a shame that when it got released, it didn't get, like, any sort of coverage or anything. It didn't get a lot of attention from what I saw, so... Not that I have any cause to give a game attention, but... You know. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!